Welcome to 12D Overlay. The overlay option is available under your row toolbar. You select Overlay Design. In this session we're going to look at the Setup tab. Our overlay job is made up of three parts. A full overlay at the start of the job. A deviation or a full road reconstruction opposite this intersection and the last part full overlay. The existing cross sections for the overlay design can be extracted in three different ways. The first way is from an existing tin surface, from cuts through strings from your survey, or utilising existing cross sections. Here we're going to select ours from a tin surface Select our train triangles, section separation every 20 metres left and right extension for the development of the cross sections. There's also an optional model for your cross sections that are created. There are four options in the overlay mode. Normal, use cross falls only, use reference Z values and cross falls and spreadsheet I.O. In the first normal mode, which was normally the initial run, the minimum depth is used and the cross falls on the left and right tabs. The minimum depth is applied to the highest point on the left and right side of your road centerline and the cross falls then projected back to the road centerline. Two points are created and the highest point is used as a level for your overlay. For the Use Cross Falls Only option, the cross falls from the left and right tab are used again but are projected from the edge strings back to the road centerline, ignoring the minimum depth overlay. Again, two points are created and the highest point is used as your overlay level. The Use Reference Z Values and Cross Falls Only option allows you to use an independently graded alignment reference and use the again the cross falls from the left setup and right setup tabs. In the spreadsheet I.O. option the reference alignment string levels can be altered in Excel spreadsheet. The levels are adjusted and the change of grade monitored in relation to a set design speed environment. The centerline level changes in the spreadsheet are applied to your reference alignment upon input and again utilising the cross falls from the left and right setup tab. A selection of your reference alignment which at this stage has no levels. A maximum longitudinal change in grade can be entered here, say 0.5, and that will be added or alerted to in your report file for your overlay. The job mode is comprised of a complete job or an option to do sections. If you select a complete job you could manipulate what amount of overlay that you wish to do by the start and end changes. In our case here we have a three phase full overlay, part road reconstruction full overlay. So we wish to do our job in sections. One section here for the overlay and the next section there. Missing out the section in the middle which will be done as a full road reconstruction. We're doing sections. So our start change 47800. For the end change, this tangent point here, we go right mouse button and there's measure options at point change and we can snap on to, in this case, our tangent point. The start point for our uh, second section is that tangent point, so again right mouse button change and then snap onto the tangent point. There's also a special change option here for any changes uh, like driveways or special structures. In the overlay results tabs, models are specified for cross section strings cross-fall strings and minimum and maximum points. 
Cross sections are produced on the overlay sections model at the same interval as specified on the previous setup tab. Strings created from the data with the left and right setup cross falls and the minimum overlay depth are placed on the overlay strings model. The overlay strings will coincide with your edge strings and a copy of your reference alignment will be used as your row crown. In this case here our reference alignment is a super alignment so the resulting string will also be a super alignment in the overlay strings model. Overlay crossfall strings will be created for the full extent of your overlay in relation to the crossfall at the outside edge. Very similar to the super diagram here shown for our reference alignment. The left and right crossfalls will be specified as heights located at RL0. The heights calculated from the projection of the crossfalls left and right setup utilising the minimum depth will be placed in a model overlay minimum and maximum points. That model will be able to be added to your section view in order to see the range created by that process. The cross sections in the overlay are super strings and the feature of the super string is the ability to have coloured segments. Those segments are coloured and calculated in relation to a depth range file. These options relate directly to the future isopacks. The depth range file here is specified as a colour. Minus 9 to 9 to 0 is red. From red to 50 mil is orange. 50 to 90 magenta, yellow for 90 to 100 mil, green up to 150 and over 150 brown. There will also be a report file for the overlay. In that report file it will specify uh, cross falls, existing cross falls and height variations along each chainage and the volume report file typical of a 12D design report. The levels created from your overlay are placed on your copied centerline string on the overlay strings model. There will be a stage after manipulation of cross falls and so forth that you wish to transfer those levels to your original reference alignment. In our preliminary run we will have that option ticked off. 12D overlay left setup and right setup tabs. The left and right setup tabs are used to create the cutback or edge strings for your overlay design. There are three ways to create the cutback or edge strings. There's an offset option. In this case here you would specify an offset and it would then parallel your reference alignment uh, typically say 3.5 meters either side. The buy string option. Here you'd possibly pick a surveyed edge string and then uh, enter a cutback or extension edge from that string. The third option is by name if you had a unique edge string name. For the left and right tabs we're going to use a buy string option. I have copied and joined from my survey model the existing edge of bitumen strings and road crown string and place those into a model called cutback references. I could in this case pick the edge string on the left hand side as one of those references and then enter in the cutback of 0.3 to produce the cutback or edge string. In this case here I'm going to select an overlay edge string that I've previously created which may or may not run parallel to your alignment string or even the surveyed edge string. There are several crossfall options. There's a default crossfall which will be applied to your entire overlay design, typically say minus 3%. And the ability to load crossfalls from several strings in this case here a rogue crown which would be the survey rogue crown 
a cross for file and cross for strings and we will discuss those later on as we continue through our road overlay. If you selected road crown the road crown string again the surveyed road crown can be selected or you can extract the reference super alignment super elevation. This will be shown in more detail later on for our particular startup we will start with a default minus 3% crossfall for the left hand side of our overlay. For the right hand edge we select our cutback string and again specify a default crossfall of minus 3%. The cutback edge strings that I created needed to be draped prior to the overlay under tins drape drape onto our existing surface level. The minimum depth tab in this case here the minimum depth for our overlay is 0.1 you can also specify in this grid format a variation of the depth over changes a from and to option for the depth. Remembering that it is that minimum depth option used in conjunction with our crossfalls from the left and right tabs to produce the levels on our road centerline. An overlay tin can be created from your overlay sections and strings. Depth range polygons can also be extracted between the overlay tin surface and the existing surface specified in your setup tab. The isopacks are produced via the depth range file. Here we're utilizing the same depth range file that we specified when creating our cross sections. That way when we profile our cross sections the colored segments will line up with the plan isopacks. Scarification can be performed at your overlay stage. The depth can be specified over the full overlay or over a chainage range, a from to option. The positive depth value is subtracted from your existing tin surface and new cross sections calculated to the extents of your cutback edge strings. Existing cross sections are copied outside this chainage range and all placed on the scarified cross section model. It is those cross sections that are utilized from then on for your overlay design. This spreadsheet IO tab refers to one of the overlay options specified in the original setup. There is a standard Excel spreadsheet available in your library area. Inside the Excel spreadsheet you have the ability to browse to your overlay spreadsheet file with a read and a write option. A design speed has been specified and a maximum change of grade. As the file is read in, changes and levels are populated in these columns and changes of grade are also populated in these columns utilizing formulas. A chart is also available in order to view those long section grade changes. If you go to the calculations tabs here it will show you the formulas that are used or derived in these columns. In this case here we're looking at a change of grades in relation to a design speed. Levels can be adjusted in these columns and the resultant changes of grade noted. Extra changes and levels can be inputted between these columns or rows and those changes will be noted when the file is written and read back into 12D. A manual or auto import export to the Excel spreadsheet file can be done. Any additional changes or changes that were added in the Excel spreadsheet will be highlighted here and there's an option to add that to any special change files that you may have been using on the previous setup tab. This is the overlay design CSV file that was created and then read in in the Excel spreadsheet. 
This option was shown in more detail during our overlay job. Plots can be produced during the overlay of your strings model, copy of your alignment string, with your overlay design levels and the overlay cross sections. They can utilize a standard PPF file and are similar to the cross sections and long sections that you may have produced through your standard apply mini.